Hello guys. My name is Richard Magala once again. I'm back with another episode of uh, sharing knowledge. Uh, today we're going to look at how to access data from what cloud is using uh, a mash and in where I call error. So to just to start off, I need to remind you that you need to uh, have our studio and then three packages installed. Uh, GDL, SD, and the raster. So uh, you already know how to install, but just in case you don't know, you go here, if you're using our studio, go to packages, and then install and write it. But if, if they already installed, then you just load them from, from here. Okay, yes, then you go to that panel. Uh, that is it. You mine here, yeah, so have to run and load them into the system. Remember, with our other every time you open a package, you have to load it through from the library. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, Look at uh, that may be a good part of you to say why the claim um, what I would be to have it. Uh, I can see. Uh, no, no, okay. But you saw it last time. Anyway. So uh, uh, we have to set the working directory here yeah, and there. Uh, Mine is in a folder called research, or the claim, and then data. Uh, yeah. Let me expand this a little bit. So we need to uh, you go to session, uh, choose the directory here, and then maybe we can start a fresh video. We go to research, and then look for a folder called the word claim, then Minutes later, that's why it is. So you go until it is blank. The final folder where you, um, your files are going to be when you click on it, it is so blank. That means the folders are over, and this is where your folders are and in your files are. So it's it open. It has already, I have printed it here. Now, what we need to do is to, to load uh, the raster. In this case, I'm going to load the raster, which is named, or given this name here. Okay. You can see this name. And uh, when you log in, you have to specify now the, 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 the directory where the file is. Okay. So I did, I'm going to load mine here. <clears throat> and I have, what you must know is I've assigned it the variable name. Claim the LIM that's what I'll be using. Take note of that. Uh, just to make sure I, I need to read the, uh, the attributes of the raster. So it, can make, it can help us make some decisions. So when we look, read the attributes here, uh, the most important thing is to look at the, the resolution of the data. That's the uh, resolution. I don't know what resolution, I mean, certificate degrees and minutes means you need to refer to another tutorial. Uh, but the most, 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 most important thing is the WGS84, which is the datum, in which is our layer, which is our raster file, is projected. And that is most cases the global digital datum, the UGS84. So that's done. Uh, now we need to look at uh, to bring a match, which in this case is a polygon, and I'm using a polygon of matter size. Uh, so I'm gonna also load this polygon into our area. Okay, you can see the match here. <coughs> and this is uh, an SH shape file. Setting it an SH shape file from from the from the build directory, and this is its name. But when you're loading, when you're specifying the uh, the little please don't remember, and you don't forget to put the, the file extension, which is a key that means it's a file. And then we just read the OGR and this reward capital letters to open a polygon. That's 
why we had this packet here. Yeah, I had it here. That is fine. Um, that's story the model, but also need to look at this. At it. Uh, with much, uh, I'll write the max extent right here. And I've already stored it. Yeah, a lot of them. Uh, what I need to show you is uh, the projection here is on OSP, OSP, that is the vertical center pan, or coordinate surveys. So they are not the same. I'm showing you that they are not the same. Let's, let us run the function for copy. <clears throat> you can see that the extent will not overlap. That means the coordinates, that one coordinate is here, and the coordinate will be like here, and another one like here, because they are not the same uh, shape. <clears throat> so what we need to do is to fix this. I'm going to fix this. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I project this, this to the other uh, projection. Yeah, the better more for uh, the battery temperature which we want. So I'll use this, uh, this code here, and then I'll use that code back. I you could alternatively you could have written in this um, this code, code and assign it a name later on. But I find this very easier because we have two we have two layers, one with both of them with different geographical coordinate systems. But we want what the other one to be aligned to, to another coordinate system. That means I just have to show other that I want it to project the other one. And that's why when you do this, it is so you are it already in this uh, project. Uh, so now I also need to bring where we want to our layer want to meet the projection of this uh, layer. So I will run it. <clears throat> and probably the transform, use the SP transform function. Uh, it makes it, uh, or gets it into this uh, project. So it's already done, and now uh, I can also, um, I can also do, uh, first of all, I didn't show you, uh, I need to show you, uh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the polygon. When you load it, you have to visualize it and see whether it's the actual polygon that you want to extract. What you have the mask. But I am also loading, uh, you have to look at this, uh, where you want to extract the data from and get a little bit of uh, time to visualize a little bit. <coughs> Uh, why must they come in? Uh, I yeah, it has come. It is all the areas they call here. The top, and then the size of the top. The size we have the higher the region, the higher the region, and then the region. So that, that's it, but then we need to bring our polygon or mask into it. If you see here, you can see a black dot. I don't know. Uh, I can zoom in for you. You can see the black dot here. Uh, this one here, where I put the cursor, that's where our polygon is. The mark is right. Okay. Uh, so we need to know what we are left with is to. That now and I will run. So when I run that, I plot the new thing, and when I, I run it, I, I name it as every bit uh, underscore term. That is that is our name of our extra new extra. Uh, when I plot it, it has already come because it's a raster. You need to use. So now that is done, what is left is now trace this raster. 
into into the bio directory and then can use it for any other purpose that you like. Okay. You can also plot it like the way we plot it the other way around. Uh, but that is not part of our presentation. Uh, maybe you can write it here and give it a name. I'll just give it a template. And when I run, when you're writing it, remember to include CIS uh, <clears throat> into the extension for the raster. You're not using SSC or any other raster type. So that is it. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. If you want more, please keep sharing the video and then we can do it. I will include the, the codes for this in the in the link below. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening.